Surface area of 3D shapes. Given an n by n grid, this grid creates a 3D shape where the element in the grid represents how many 1 by 1 cubes we stack. For example, for the element 2, we are stacking two 1 by 1 cubes on top of each other. We continue this process and glue all the cubes side by side, creating a 3D shape. Return the total surface area of the 3D shape and also note the bottom face counts as well. In this case, the total surface area is 34. We will solve this in O of n squared time. Let's consider the surface area resulting from the tower of one cube. As long as the height of the cubes is greater than zero, then we are guaranteed two surface areas from the top plus bottom of the cube. And now we need to consider the surface area resulting from the sides of the cube. Let's first focus on this side. We will get the height of its neighbor. If the neighbor height is greater than its current height, then this means there is no surface area exposed on this side of the cube. Let's continue and check the other neighbor of this cube. Its height is greater than the current cube, so this means there is no surface area exposed on this side of the cube. Now for the other sides of the cube, if they do not have a neighbor, then the surface area for each of these sides will simply be the height of the cube. So in this case, we add two more to the surface area of this cube. So in total, the surface area of this cube is 4. Let's continue and check the surface area of this cube of height 2. Since the height is greater than 0, then it has an exposed surface area from the top and bottom, so we add 2. Now let's check the surface area from the sides of this cube, starting with its neighbor, 1. Since the current height is greater than its neighbor, the difference between its height and its neighbor's height will be the exposed surface area from this side of the cube. So in this case, the difference between 2 and 1 is 1. Now let's check its neighbor from the other side of the cube. Now notice its neighbor's height is greater than the current height, which means there is no exposed surface area on this side of the cube. And finally, the other sides of the cubes do not have any neighbors. And so the exposed surface area on each side of the cube will simply be the height of the cube. And so we can add those sides to the total surface area. And so the total surface area of this cube is 7. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.